by Kevin Trudeau, naturalcures.com. Gateway site to all his other great sites, billions and millions of dollars a year in sales of books and other materials. This is one of the biggest, best-selling authors out there. And I've, I mean, I've read several of his books, read news articles he's done, bought his, uh, you know, super memory thing decades ago. And it's all just stuff that's so well documented. I mean, take his Natural Cures book that they don't want you to know about. This is all mainline stuff that's backed up all these scientific studies that they've known for hundreds of years that it helps you. And then they're coming after him for that, folks. This is serious if they're able to shut him down. What an amazing interview. Okay, we got 20 minutes left with Kevin Trudeau. We're going to open the phones up, take a few calls in the next segment at 1-800-259-9231, one 800 259 we just got a call from Trudeau's folks saying, can they use this interview? Absolutely. They can take the video of this interview, the audio of it, use it however they want. Um, again, flattered. Okay, Kevin, I've been asking a lot of the questions, and there's so many other questions I've got, but in this short segment, we got one more coming up. Anything else you haven't covered that people should know about or that's coming over the horizon that people aren't aware of yet with all your inside knowledge? And what are you most focused on right now in the future? Well, for 15 years, uh, Bilderberg, again, Bilderberg is just one group. It's North America and, and Europe, and there's others, about four others around the, uh, the globe that also work together. And they are working together as a group. The bottom line is there are there's six major areas of control that this group has been focused on for forever. Number one is the money supply. So in, in 1913, when, when the Fed was created, you know, they got the money supply covered in the U.S. So the, the number one goal is always to control the money. Number two is you've got to control the media. Because if you control television, radio, newspapers, magazines, then you control the thoughts and feelings of the population. The third thing they've got to do is control drugs and health care. Because everyone is going to either get sick or feel the urgency for their health. So if they control drugs and health care, that's an automatic way to control the population by forcing injections. You know, it's like this kid, the 13-year-old kid, where the judge says, you must get chemotherapy. I mean, how insane is this? Strap the kid down and kill him? So that makes government God. I mean, if they can make you take drugs, make you go to them, get the health care they want to give you, that's how they force the eugenics on people. Yeah, and keep in mind, the drugs are specifically used to basically mind down the individual population. This has been done throughout the centuries. We forget in China. When the British were in control of China, what did they do to the population? Let's get them all on opium. So they got a, the, the uh, British got the entire Chinese population drugged up on opium so that they didn't have any um, problems with the population. They would just go out there and do their work and stay high on opium all day. So same thing here. What are the elites What are the elites afraid of? I asked you that question and forgot to ask it again. What, what are they most afraid of? They're afraid. This is the, it's so simple because people always ask me, what should I do? And this is what they're afraid of. They're afraid that people will get out of debt because if you completely pay off your credit cards, pay down your mortgage, you know, buy a used car for cash instead of owing money from the bank, if a person gets out of debt, they can't control you that much. And secondly, if you change where you spend your money, if you stop buying, see, you know, my book was the biggest seller that Walmart ever had. Walmart never sold organic food. So when Natural Cures became the best, biggest seller they ever had, the executives called me up and said, we are forced to sell organic food in our stores because of your damn book. And so that's what it comes down to. But they're greedy and can't help it and still sell your book. Correct. So uh -huh. the, that's the beautiful thing. Greed supersedes everything, even their, their, their most important wishes and desires. Well, that's just like big Hollywood production company with big banking funding making a Bilderberg Group movie. They like being known as the supermen of the world. I want to hear about those other four groups when we get back. Final segment with Kevin Trudeau, ladies and gentlemen. What an incredible interview. And we're going to be having him back up on the show. We appreciate his time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know what a police state in this country is, I had Jim Tucker on from Bilderberg three or four times. And I said, Jim, 
anything I can do for you, you know, for all the great work you've done. And he said, yeah, there's a type of bourbon I like. And he said the name of it. And then we're trying to mail it at the post office, and there's little secret police asking what it is, and they say, we can't mail liquor across state lines. In America, you can't mail one of your friends a bottle of whiskey as a present. This country is gone. We got to take it back. We got to have revolution. And, 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 and Kevin Trudeau, how do we, is the establishment worried about revolution? What type of revolution should we have? I want to have a peaceful one, but I want this to stop. I mean, I can't go out in the country on my land and get a telescope out without a game warden with his lights up running up now. It didn't used to be like that. I mean, government is out of control. They're suing you, getting $37 million judgments for writing books about how to lose weight that work. I mean, this is baloney. It really is a little bit outrageous, but actually it's, it's, I look at it as a very positive thing because it's becoming so outrageous, people are now becoming aware. Because it's so outrageous, like this 13-year-old boy being forced to get chemotherapy, me writing a book that the government doesn't like and fining me $37 million, but also in addition to that, I have been banned from appearing on television for the next three years. As a matter of fact, I've been banned from appearing on radio and Internet shows. I'm, what I'm doing right now is illegal. Oh, I didn't know I was a thought criminal, but I, you know what? I, I believe in the First Amendment, hang together, hang separate. Tell me about my thought crime, <laughs> having well, you on. I'm the one breaking it because I'm banned from doing any media appearance for three years. But I just told them, look, if you want to enforce this ban, sue me again. I, I, please. Well, you know, as you said, you're appealing all of this. And if they try to say you can't come on my show, I mean, that's really going to illustrate to people that there's just no free speech left. It's really outrageous. But you ask me what they're afraid of. And again, let me tell people, here are the things that they're controlling. And then I'll tell you the three things they're afraid of. They're controlling the money, the media, the drugs and the health care, the food, water, and roads and travel. That's what the groups, now there's a group, again, Bilderberg, they call it Bilderberg only because of the hotel, but there's no names for these. Uh, that is North America and Europe. There's a group that handles uh, Central America and South America. There's the Middle East and the Persian Gulf. There's Africa, and then there's Asia. Those, all of those have Bilderberg-type groups that are all working together. And then all these tie in and this is where, I, I, this is at the level that I was at, it's, a, it's an organization that we don't have a name for. It's called the Brotherhood only because it's just the people together as brothers. It's men and women, but mostly men. And we basically try to make sure that we control the money, the media, the food, the drugs, the water, and the roads. What are they afraid of? They're afraid of, A, that you stop in America that you stop voting for Democrats and Republicans and yes. vote for any other party. Break the left-right paradigm. They are freaking out at guys like Ron Paul. And if you remember, remember Ross Perot? Yes. Hey, what? why? Isn't it bizarre that this guy was on the news on, on television every day? And then, overnight, you never heard another word from him ever again. Because they said they'd kill his family. Of course they said they'd kill his family. But they wouldn't kill him. They were going to murder him in the press, just like Ron Emanuel told the bomb holders at Chrysler. He said, if you don't go along with this, we're going to, we're going to send the IRS after you, and we're going to unleash the press corps. Yeah, well, this mafia government, like the Nazis, that was a mafia government. The Soviets, mafia government. Don't you see it falling apart as their crimes get more and more legion? I mean, yeah. as you s That's it. The more, they, the more crazy they get, the more people start making changes. So, number one, get out of debt. Number two, never vote for a Democrat or a Republican, with the exception of Ron Paul. And number three, change your buying habits. Stop buying things from big multinational companies. I'm in Germany right now. I'm talking to guys who are 80 years old. Now, people are a little healthier here. They ride bikes. They hike up the mountain at 80 years old. No one's taking any drugs. But these guys and gals that I'm chatting with here in, in, in Germany were around during Adolf Hitler. And you know what they tell me? They look at me like they say, are you Americans crazy? You are doing the exact same thing that we did under Adolf Hitler, we wanted to give up our freedoms so that he could protect us. You are doing the exact same thing in America. And it's, it's common knowledge here from the, 
the people that were around during the regime of Adolf Hitler, that America and Britain are becoming this generation's most totalitarianism, uh, totalitarian and tyrannical fascist governments on planet Earth. Let me back you up. Let me back you up and then finish because it's so important. They've had British government and U.S. government studies and big university studies. I'm sure you're, you're, you're mentioning the same thing that just came out in the last month admitting England's number five police state in the world. U.S. is number six. I mean, there's only a few like North Korea and Zimbabwe uh, ahead of us. I mean, the whole world knows we are under hardcore tyranny and it's getting worse and worse. And people said, oh, well, you still got your free speech. And now they're starting to restrict our free speech. We don't, we don't have free speech at all. When a guy can get sued $37 million because he wrote a book and expressed his opinions on television, we don't have free speech in America.